Hello everybody. So this is something that I get asked quite a lot and that is how to make a custom header image in Blogger with custom designed navigation links. This is your standard Blogger layout. Um, this design is the simple layout in Blogger and I've done nothing to it at all. This is the standard navigation link bar that you're going to get and I'm going to show you how to get rid of this and turn it into something such as this. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. So we're in Photoshop right now and I've created this mock-up. Um, this is just going to be my header image, my navigation links right here. And basically what we're going to have to do is take this image and then break it up into smaller images and then put it back together. So first of all what we're gonna do, if you see my layers palette right here, all of my layers are are still in separate layers. So we're going to go to layer, flatten image, and that's just gonna flatten them all to the background like that. So now we just have one workable image. Now I know there's different ways that people do this but this is the way that I do it and I find it, um, I find that I can do it pretty quickly this way. So that's how I'm going to show you. Um, so first of all, <clears throat> in Photoshop, you're going to want to make sure that your rulers are showing. And the rulers are these numbers, ruler, along the top and the side. And if they're not showing, all you have to do is go to View at the top and then Rulers and make sure that's checked. <clears throat> and then you're going to see them right there. Um, and with these rulers, what we're going to do is click on it, hold your mouse button down and drag. You can see it's dragging a line. And we're going to put that right above where we want the top of our navigation images to begin. Um, so now you see this guideline here. Now we're going to grab another one, bring it down to the bottom, and then we're going to section off each of these because each of these links have to be a, um, a separate image so that we can make them clickable. So we're just going to drag that over here and there. So this right here will be one button or link for our navigation menu. This, the about one, will be another. Tutorials links and contact and then we have two end pieces that aren't going to be linked. So once you've done that you're going to want to grab the marquee tool which is the second um, the second icon in your toolbar right here. It just looks like a square with dashed lines around it. You're gonna grab that you're gonna click hold it and drag it just to this first guideline right here and that's going to grab our whole top header image and now what you're going to do is you're going to copy this and you're going to control C and then we're going to open a new document I just push control N or you can go file new now when this dialog box pops up you're going to notice that the width and the height are already specified for you and that's actually the, um, the width and the height of the area that you just copied so that's perfect so we're just going to click OK it's going to open up a new document that exact size and then you're going to paste the um, image that we just copied into the document so I just push control V or you can go edit paste same thing. Now we're going to go back here and we're going to do the exact same thing for each of these little um, boxed areas that we made. So you're just going to select it with the marquee tool again and this should automatically snap to the guidelines and you're just going to go copy again, new, OK, paste. And you can see that's the same size as what we copied. Do that again for home. Computers wigging out. So now 
we're just going to save this image and what we're going to have to do is go to file save for web and devices it's going to open up this window here you're going to want to choose it says PNG right here already you're going to choose JPEG and I always like to do quality at 80 um, if you go any lower the quality of the image kind of starts to, do, to uh, decrease so just leave it at 80 and that should be good and then you're going to click save and we'll save this as header save and then we can close that one and then we can go to the next one save for web again quality 80 save and we'll call that one I usually like to do these by rows so we'll just call it 1-1 Close that one. So now that we have our design created and all cut up, we need to put it on our blog. Um, so I just created a sample blog for testing purposes. So what we want to do first is find a place to upload the images to because we're going to need to um, have those accessible on the internet. So you can either upload them to a photo bucket account. Um, I'll show you a really easy shortcut that I like to do sometimes just to save time. And that's going to just be through Blogger. So all you have to do is click New Post. Make sure you're in Compose mode and then you're going to click the Add Image button. And you're going to choose your files, select them all, and open, and it's going to upload these to Blogger. Now, these don't just upload to your posts. These are actually going to upload to your Picasa account. Um, every image that you upload through Blogger actually goes into your Google um, Picasa account. So there we have it and then I'm just gonna add them all I actually didn't need to import this one so I'll just remove it um, and then I just want to go through I want to click on all of them and make sure that all of them are set to original size see at the bottom here I know this bigger one's not going to be so we're gonna just click original size and it's gonna expand it to its actual size so this is a really easy way just to get your images uploaded somewhere if you don't have a photo bucket account um, or a web server to host them on you can just do it this way um, and then we can go to the HTML mode and you're going to see the codes for each of your images okay so now leaving this open so that you can see all the codes and everything I'm just going to open up the um, dashboard in a separate window and then I'm going to go to layout and then see where it says pages your pages widget you're gonna click edit and we want to remove this first so we're just going to we're gonna uncheck we're gonna uncheck this box here to automatically add new pages when they're published we're gonna uncheck that and then we're gonna go remove okay and then it's going to remove it and you're gonna see a blank space right here that says add a gadget so we're gonna click that and then we're going to scroll down and find HTML JavaScript. And we're going to get this box. And this is where we're going to put the code for our, our header in. Um, I'm going to go back to this page. We're going to find the one that we named header.jpg. We're going to copy this code. We're going to try to make this easy for you. Start from the image code image border 0 start from there drag it to the end of the image code before the ending link code and we're going to copy and paste it in there and then we're going to find the next image which was that side image um, beside the actual links copy that one paste it there. Next was our home button. Paste. About was next. 
And I've numbered all of these so I know which order they go in. I found that that helps a lot. Tutorials. Links came next. And then contact. And then the second, the ending image. So now, and you see how I just added all of those directly beside each other? That's what you want to do. You don't want to put, like, you don't want to hit enter or put a space in between them. You want them to be right next to each other because if you do have a space, it's not going to look right when you, um, when you preview it. So just to show you, I haven't added the links in yet. So I just have the images. I'm just going to click Save. And you'll see here it added that HTML JavaScript widget. And then on my sample site, if I refresh it, you're going to see it here. Now I'm going to fix this, so don't worry about how it looks right now. But you can see that these are in line. The reason that this is over here is just because I have to adjust the width of my overall layout. So I'll show you how to do that as well. To add the links to the pages, <coughs> We can close this now. We don't have to publish this. We don't have to really do anything with it now because we've got our images. We can close that. And then we're going to go to um, our pages. This is where we've set up those actual pages. Um, now to add the links in, we're just going to open up the code that we just added again. We're going to find the first, the home. You can see here it says our home JPEG image. Right before the image code, we're going to put in the HTML code for the link. So we're going to go a ref equals. And then we're going to go here. This is just going to be our home page. So you can just, this view button, you can just right click and copy the link location and then paste it there, end that, and then at the end of the JPEG image, you're just going to close out that link tag. And then the next one, we're just going to hop right into it, equals, and then this is the about page, so we're going to find the about page, right click on the view link, copy, paste, close that link, Start a new one. Tutorials, copy link, paste, close that one. Links, copy link, close it. And the last one, contact, copy link, paste it in. And at the end of the JPEG image, slash A is ending the link. And then we're going to click Save. And then if we refresh this, our pages are now linked. Now I'm going to show you how to get rid of this default header and make your blog a little bit wider. OK, so back in our dashboard, I'm going to go to Template. And then I'm going to go to Customize. And this is going to open the Blogger Template Editor. And first, we will fix the width. As you can see, my whole header doesn't exactly fit, so we can just fix that. We can go to Adjust Widths. And we can drag this until it pops back into place. That's just a super easy way to do this. Um, you can do further customizing with widths and everything in the actual CSS, um, but that's just the super basic way to do it. And now to get rid of this um, header text, we're actually going to go into the CSS and do a really quick little tweak. So we're going to go to advanced here at the side, scroll all the way down, add CSS, and we're going to go 
I believe it is pound capital H header one display none. So can you see that code? Pound sign capital H E A D E R the number one <clears throat> bracket display none and then end it. And that just got rid of that. Um, there's a bunch, I mean, you could go on forever with this um, if you want to hide the nav bar. Do the exact same thing. And then you have your custom header. Just apply that to your blog. Go back to your blog and refresh. And there you have it. A customized linked header. Hopefully that was easy enough to understand. I tried to make it as basic as possible um, because I know not everybody understands the whole coding and Photoshop and everything. So hopefully you guys understood what I was talking about. Um, if you have any requests for any videos, any how-tos, um, computer design, techie, nerd related, just leave a comment and let me know. And I will see you next time.